we go. Hello. Uh, my name is Persephone Hamburg and I'm the AV coordinator here at First UU. I use she, her pronouns. Yesterday in the Northern Hemisphere was spring equinox and thus the first day of spring. Seasons have a simple astronomical explanation. It's just a matter of angle and position of the earth in relation to the sun. But these exact details weren't worked out until relatively recently, probably within the last 600 years. Despite this, marking the seasons, especially spring, has been so deeply important to humanity for millennia, for practical purposes and for joyous religious celebrations. Spring is the return of life, the return of food security, both for agricultural and hunter-gatherer societies, and the return of warmth and long days, not to mention the ubiquitous happiness that is so inevitable that I would venture to call it human nature to be happy at the arrival of spring. I'm going to read a poem to you all today. It's by E.E. E. Cummings, a UU and an avid admirer of spring in his poetry. This poem is one of my favorites that he wrote. It talks about how despite the inevitability and even expectedness of spring's arrival, we sometimes don't notice it happening all around us. Slowly the trees bud and grow leaves. And it seems like all of a sudden the trees are fully foliated, the flowers are in full bloom and the air smells fresh and slightly sweet and it's spring. How can something so ancient so expected that it's on every calendar, sneak up, us on, sneak up on us like that without anything seemingly changing. When you think about it, it truly is wild that this ancient dance of planet and star brings forth greenery and flowers every year, connecting us not only to every spring in the past five billion years of the life of the earth, but to every spring that will ever happen on earth. I hope you all enjoy spring this year, and I hope you enjoy this poem by E.E. E. Cummings. It's called Spring is Like a Perhaps Hand, and it's performed, both the music and the reading, by me. a window into which people look while people stare, arranging and changing, placing carefully there a strange thing and a known thing here, and changing everything carefully. Carefully moving a perhaps fraction of flower here, placing an inch of air there, and without breaking anything. 